One such hero is Captain Luis Avila. Where is he? Luis. Luis. Oh, we love you, Luis. Luis, wow. Luis is here tonight along with his wife, Claudia. Thank you, Claudia. Thank you, darling. Thank you. Thank you. Luis served in the Army for 16 years. He held many different positions on five combat tours. And he was always a leader, and everybody always said, I did some checking on you, Luis, that you did a great job no matter where you were, no matter where you went. On his fifth deployment, Luis bravely led his company on a successful mission to recover vital intelligence. During this critical mission, his vehicle was struck by explosives. Luis was gravely wounded and lost his leg. He received a Purple Heart for his service and sacrifice. To Luis and Claudia, we will never forget the courageous sacrifice that you made for all of us in this room tonight and for everyone in our country. Thank you. Thank you, Luis. I want you all and all of our incredible wounded warriors to know you have an entire nation of more than 300 million people behind you. And our nation's getting strong again. Do you notice? Yeah. Getting strong again. Our hearts and our prayers are joined with yours. Your legacy, like our gratitude, will live forever, and I want to thank you. Thank you very much. And Claudia, thank you very much. Thank you. I also want to speak to all of the people, see, you thought I forgot, in our faith community who are here with us tonight, veterans and non-veterans alike. You're never going to be forgotten. You'll never be forgotten. My administration will always support and defend your religious liberty. We don't want to see God forced out of the public square, driven out of our schools, or pushed out of our civic life. We want to see prayers before football games if they want to give prayers. We want all children to have the opportunity to know the blessings of God. We will not allow the government to censor sermons, to restrict the free speech of our pastors and our preachers and the people that we most respect. Like Robert. That is why, just as I promised Pastor Jeffress and other faith leaders, I just signed an executive order following, and this is something that makes me very happy and very proud, following through on my campaign pledge 
to stop the Johnson Amendment from interfering with your First Amendment rights. As long as I am president, no one is going to stop you from practicing your faith or from preaching what is in your heart. We want to hear him. One of the most grave and dire threats to religious freedom 